As with the alarm sounds, different departments and buildings have different evacuation procedures. For example, Whiston Hospital wards use progressive horizontal evacuation. This means that staff and patients move outwards to adjoining areas on the same level through fire-resisting barriers. This horizontal evacuation procedure continues until vertical evacuation can be achieved away from the affected zones or the fire is brought under control. Nightingale House uses a zoned evacuation procedure that's based on the continuous and intermittent alarm system. Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE for short, must be worn at all times when outside the accommodation block. These are Fire Retardant Coveralls Hard Hat Safety Glasses Hearing Protection and double hearing protection in designated high noise areas. The building alarm is a loud, continuous siren. On hearing the alarm, leave your work area immediately. Do not delay. Do not use the lifts. In an emergency, the lifts will automatically descend to ground level. The fire lift can only be operated by the emergency rescue service. There are two emergency stairways at each end of the building and one in the middle. If one stairway is blocked, use another. Walk calmly down the stairs, do not run.